what were my top five beats. Five, one, two, three, four, five. Of the year. And at the same time, what were my top worst baits of the year? Let's find out. So we have seen, you and I have seen a lot of baits this year, a lot of closer looks and a lot of other stuff. And I thought it'd be, it would, might be a good idea to go through my top five baits that I really enjoyed and also my top five baits I really didn't enjoy. And so we're gonna start it off with a bad one. This is not my favorite lure. And uh, while I tape this, it's, it hasn't been put on the channel, but from Lunker Hunt is the Skitter Lizard. Skitter Lizard, I almost said that wrong. No. Hip, hip. No. Hip, hip. Boo, you stink! Not a fan, uh, many reasons. Uh, I think the back hook, that hook that is in the back of the tail just doesn't work. Uh, there were too many times I cast that bait and it landed upside down. Next thing I know that lizard's doing the backstroke that pissed me off. Uh, I didn't find it remotely weedless. I thought every time it was there was a little bit of weeds on the on the water, it picked up every bit of weeds. I spent more time pulling weeds off the hooks than I did fishing it, and I didn't catch anything on it in two or three hours. So it is one of my top five baits that I really, really didn't like. Didn't like at all. We're gonna do the good and the bad, might as well do a good one right off the bat too. Not, and these aren't in real any order. My, one of my top five baits of the year is the Cumberland Elite Prayer Underspin. If you have not purchased one or you don't know about Cumberland Pro Lures, you're really missing the boat. They make a fantastic product with the highest quality of products or terminal stuff on it, like the Every part of the components are top of the line. This underspin is fantastic. It's good in the winter, it's good in the summer, it's good all the time. All the time. And you can put your favorite trailer bait on it, like a Smash Tech uh, Blade Aid or a Z Man Goats or any of those trailer baits, and it adds just a little bit more action to an already fantastic underspin. So if you don't have one, you should go look up Cumberland Pro, and I'll put a link in the description below to the exact one I'm talking about. In the bad category, or in the worst category, don't know how long it's been out, but I know this year I looked at it for the first time, the River to Sea ICBM. You stink. And it is BM. Uh, this is a lure that I still, to this date, don't know how to fish. Uh, it's supposed to be a glide bait. It's supposed to have four or five different ways to, to, to run. I found all of them have little action, little action. And it's overpriced and it's heavy. And it just doesn't, for me, it didn't catch any fish. It's called the ICBM for the inner continental bait missile or something i don't even know what it is. icbm means now right now but it wasn't a good lure for me i didn't enjoy it i didn't like it in fact i got two and both of them went away after the closer look that's how much i dislike those lures so in my second bad or worst uh, baits for the year is the river to sea icbm one that you'll not hear much me talk about much of but in my really really good ones and the closer look I did earlier this year or maybe a few months ago was from Mega Bass and the Spark Shad. The Spark Shad is fabulous. It is everything you want. It isn't over it isn't overpriced. The action on the bait, the soft plastic bait is superb. The tail kicks, it has a good body motion. It's the right size. It's, it fits every category of fishing, swim bait fishing, soft plastic swim bait fishing that I like to do. You can rig it on a belly hook, you can put it on a jig, you can use it weightless. 
It rigs any and every way and it flat out catches fish. It has exceptional action. Exceptional action. And it's one of those baits that everyone should have in your box. So my best of 2021 for the second one is the Mega Bass Spark Shad. My next one in the worst category. And just because there's so many out there that are way better than this, I really didn't understand the 10,000 fish cycle bait. What's that smell? What, what smell? Ooh. You stink. While it had a good wobble to it and for a spinner bait, it seemed to work pretty well. I felt like fish were scared to death of this bait. It was just a little bit too bulky. Uh, I, I fished it many times this year to try to catch fish on it and had zero luck with it. And like I said, while it had a good wobble to it and something different than most spinner baits, I think if you go get a KVD spinner bait for four or five or six bucks, you're probably way off better than that 10,000 fish cycle bait. So that is one of my worst baits of the year. Next, we're gonna put two in one because really both of them are fantastic. Z-Man came out with the Big Blade this year and they also came out with the Cross Eyes. Both unbelievable chatter baits. If you haven't used both of them, you're missing out. The, the Z-Man Cross Eyes is a little more weedless, or has a weed, weed guard, and it swims and hunts proper. It is fantastic in the water. And if you really want to take it to the next level, that Big Blade thumps. I mean, if you haven't fished a Big Blade from Z-Man Chatterbait, and you're a Chatterbait fan, you don't know what you're missing. It literally, it rocks the boat, man. It thumps like no other Chatterbait on the market. Bigger blade, still works well, doesn't have the weed guard, you know, priced around 10 bucks, and it is fantastic. It's fantastic. So if you're a Chatterbait fisherman and you haven't used the cross eyes or the big blade, you need to go and get one right away because you will not be disappointed. Is it as good as the jackhammer? No but it's really damn close. I mean, really close. The cross eyes is that good. The cross eyes really has been a phenomenal bait for me here in the uh, the end of the year. I've caught a lot of fish on that bait. So my third best bait, even though it's two, is the cross eyes and the big blade from Z-Man. Now we gotta go to the worst one, another worst. Uh, I bought this, it's a JDM one. I bought this and I read how it was gonna vibrate and it was gonna be thumping action and it was gonna it was gonna change my life but the fish arrow and i gotta read it the fish arrow flash vibe how's this for criticism um you stink how do you like that criticism? really stunk it up i mean someone put a big pile of crap in that lure i hate that lure uh you can rig it you can rig it two different ways so it has two different line points and the line points they don't help this bait. It doesn't do anything. It's uh, if you want to use a vibrating uh, lipless bait, this is this is not the one for you. Uh, it just it didn't work at all. It didn't work at all. I used that bait several times, probably six or seven or eight times to go fishing with to catch fish on for the closer looks, and had zero luck. Put on a lipless crankbait vibrate that thing or jerk that thing like you normally do and I would catch fish. This was a bait that just doesn't have, it doesn't have a lot of action in it and because it doesn't have a lot of action in it, and then the price of it, I wouldn't recommend this one at all. So in my worst for the first worst five baits, this is one that is in there for sure. It's the fish arrow flash vibe. The next bait that is in the, the good category should be number one the truth this should be number one but it isn't from savage gear the 3d lizard shut your mouth with that one if you have lizards or you're down here in florida or you just learn how the cadence of that that bait the tail kicks the arms move it's phenomenal it is the bait that i caught the most bass on this year in 2021 i always caught a fish when it was on every time i've had it on and i've been fishing i've caught at least one it's a fantastic bait, inexpensive, pretty good on durability. I think you can probably get five or six fish per bait. It's a soft plastic, but it's absolutely ridiculous. It's a great, it's an absolutely fantastic bait. And one bait I'm very happy to have on 
every time I go fishing. So that is one of the positives and one of the best lures that I thought, well, that I feel like uh, was that came out this year is the Savage Gear 3D Lizard. Now my last bait for ones that I did not like uh, and I know it catches fish, but it didn't do anything for me. It's the Goo Goo Clickbait. I know, like I said, I know this bait catches fish. I've caught fish on it. Uh, but if I'm going to use uh, a so-called chatter bait, which it really isn't, it isn't even a vibrating jig, uh, I would get the Stealth Blade from Z-Man. It makes it, The Stealth Blade makes more noise than the clickbait. The clickbait is clickbait. It is. We went out and bought a bunch of them. They sold millions, probably, and it just does. It doesn't do it for me. Um, I don't don't like the action of the bait. Uh, I don't like I don't like the clickbaitness of it, and I just think it's crap. And I know, like I said, I know people catch fish on it, but for me, I didn't have much luck. I, I took it out and fished. The day I got one, I took it out and fished. And I did catch two fish, so I know it catches fish, but. I wanted so much more when they said it was a vibrating jig. I wanted so much more, and it, it isn't. It doesn't vibrate, it doesn't clack, it doesn't do all the things that you want in a proper chatter bait. So that's one of the baits I was really disappointed in this year. My favorite bait, or one of my favorite baits for the year, as I put down my notes, one that I absolutely love. I couldn't be happier. I own a giant stock of them too. So if you need any, I got the yeah, you can buy them from me. Just joking. My one of my favorite baits was the Six Sense Fishing Flush. This is a soft plastic fluke. Once you learn the cadence, it walks underwater, side to side, beautifully. It's a spicy meat body. It is unbelievable. It's incredible. You can't use enough superlatives for this bait. The flush does everything right. Good color, good price, good action. It hits every one of the things that you want in a fluke and in a, a, a lure. Probably meticulously over-designed, but it works. It's got some size, it, it, it flutters well, it holds well in the water, it sinks proper, it doesn't go nose down because it has these little side pieces that make it flush properly and it's called the flush because you can bury the hook and make it weedless as a weedless bait it's fantastic as a bait with a uh, using a weighted belly hook it's as good as as anything it has it is unbelievable uh, like I said there aren't enough superlatives for that bait and it's one of those baits that you should have in your your box if you love fluke fishing get this bait and try it out. I promise you, you will not be disappointed. So there we have it. The top five best and worst baits, in my opinion. Those were baits that we looked at in the closer looks, you and I, but thank you. I just wanna say thanks to everybody, really, thank you. Thanks for hitting that subscribe and that like button. Make sure you click that notification bell so you know when the next video drops. Also, comment below and tell me what you think. Was I right, was I wrong? I'll probably be bright with some and wrong with others. That's life. That's just how it is. Hope you guys have a blessed day. Remember, take a kid fishing, get your fish on. Happy New Year. Cheers. Hit like and subscribe. Take your own kids fishing.